Hi there, um, this is a little video that I've decided to do uh, in response to a question which I, I think I might get asked at some point and that's about um, the toughness of uh, quick lime mortar as in hot lime mortar. Uh, this is a little job that I'm doing in Brampton, Grade 2 listed building. As you can see I'm taking out the old, taking out the old mortar. Uh, there's a lot of uh, horse hair in the original pointing mortar and as you can see the brown stuff underneath which the masonry bees have attacked that's the earth lime mortar which is predominantly earth right so here we've got some original mortar some of it's in good condition some of it isn't so you know best to take it all out you can see you can see how it's coming out now this is original pointing mortar uh, it's slightly penciled and um, it's been sitting here for well since the house was built so uh, the most of them sorry most of most of them around these parts uh, were built in the uh, in the 1700s so uh, you yeah, know there you go you can see it's possible to uh, pull the original out but that's really what you kind of should be expecting because it's a soft mortar you know it's meant to be soft you're meant to be able to pull it out and on this is part of a sample this is a this is a sample uh, i did a sample for these clients so they can actually see what quick lime mortar looks like uh, it looked like it was gonna they, were, they could see what the quick lime mortar the hot lime was going to look like in uh, in in their house so there you go this was put in oh let's see i say around about may and uh, we're now into october now so that's what may June, July, August, September, October. So this is six months old. It's had six months to carbonate. Ready? You can see it's actually tougher. And this is a 1-4 mix. So it's tougher the, than the original. Right. And the reason for that is because quicklime mortar nowadays um, is uh, made in super efficient clinical lime kilns. There's no badly burnt lime. There's no underburnt lime. There all aren't bits of chalk and birds nests and wood wood ash falling into the mix you know so you know it's it is stronger than the original mortar but it's uh, uh, much more lime rich I mean we le we're looking at uh, a CL90 here which is 90% free lime in comparison to a natural hydraulic lime which the best you're gonna get is 50% free lime so there you go right original I mean that really is quite soft but that's what you want new it's tough on mortar you know I mean it really is and this will last um, exactly the same as um, the well I would say it should do we'll know in maybe a couple of hundred years time but um, this is something that's in the process of drying out uh, this is some new this got some chippings in but uh, that's it. it's in there you've got to keep misting it up um, to um, to allow it to carbonate otherwise it dries out too quickly and uh, and it doesn't doesn't carbonate but um, yeah anyway so that's it I'll do a photograph of I'll do a, a little video of what it looks like uh, when it's when it's all done but um so this is let's see this is original you see a bit rough I'm not doing the whole of the elevation actually just um, just just uh, redoing the worst bits but um, earth lime mortar you can see that if this was just left exposed how easy it would be for the elements to, to ro erode it um, but um, the majority of builders who work on these places don't understand the uh, the importance of a, of a soft um, high free lime content mortar uh, which will allow vapour molecules, moisture, to pass through the joints and um, also, um, you know, uh, pull away uh, mo moisture which is on a stone, which is on the face of the stone uh, in, uh, in winter, in summer, has a much uh, lower dwell time than it would have if this was repointed in cement because the cement, ha so cement has absolutely no free lime whatsoever and therefore cannot wick away any moisture it locks it in and so you get rotting uh, behind the cement 
as it touches the stone it it uh, it, 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 it it sets up a chemical reaction uh, which reacts badly with uh, with natural stone because uh, cement is just not a natural product although made with limestone all the good stuff all the free lime is actually burnt out with cement so um, what you need to uh, what you need to cover your um, uh, earth lime mortar your original bedding mortar is um, uh, is this stuff and uh, this is a uh, quick lime mortar we use we simply do a like for like we don't mess around with anything other than what would have been originally uh, in, in this and you can see the way the the mort the, this is hanging uh, it's like it's hanging off strands well it is it's true um, the original mortar has um, has a lot of um, has a lot of animal hair in it doesn't make any difference what kind of animal hair it is you can put I mean I'm 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 working on uh, what am I doing on here horse hair and husky because huskies have a habit of dropping a hell of a lot of hair and uh, just binds into the aggregate stops it uh, stops it cracking gives it gives it a bit of strength um, a mixture of dog hair I mean you could put otter hair in you could shave a pig if you want um, but as long as you get some animal hair in you know rabbit rat fox whatever it doesn't matter um, but uh, th nobody's worked out anything synthetic actually put in, uh, in in these mixes yet but anyway i've waxed lyrical for long enough um bottom line is don't forget if you're having a lime mortar repointing job done then what you need is quick lime you can have a cl90 a cl80 a cl75 you see you're starting to move in the direction of uh, more hydraulic limes as the free lime content goes goes down you can use a pot salan right what that will do is you give you a, a greater hydraulic uh It'll give, it, it'll give your mortar more of a hydraulic ability. It'll increase hydraulicity because what a porcelain does, it actually consumes, depending on, depending on which kind of porcelain it is, it will actually consume its weight in free lime. So if you put a lot of porcelain into a, into a, um, a quick lime mortar, you can reduce it, say for example, from a, uh, from a CL90 down to a, CL, a CL75. Um, you know, you could, in fact, you could even go, if you're that way inclined, 100% uh, porcelain. Um, but uh, that's, that's a whole other story. Uh, anyway, I'll call it a day. Thank you.